uh, Exodus 11 and verse 7. It says, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Man, so not even a dog is supposed to move his tongue against our people. Yeah, Jake is through, nigga got dreads in his hair, drug dealer. But once he dies, at the end of the day, he's still going to be a king, a prince, a priest, after this is all said and done. So you can hate us because you ain't us, Bro, but right. we are still the people. Bro, I was driving the camp, man. I, I was thinking to myself, man, I cannot wait to see what we really look like yeah, in the yeah, kingdom. Because yeah. we, we talk about you niggas every week because we have to. <laughs> but there's certain times where the Lord allows you to enjoy the kingdom before right. you're in the kingdom. We want to see, I want to be right with the Lord every That's day. Right. I, I, I want to be right, so right with the Lord that no, I just want to be with the Lord, bro. Right. Every day I want to see the Lord, man. That's and the thing is, is that we want we want that for our own people, man. That's, right. that's why we're crying out to. That's why the Lord set us up to be men of the Lord to tell you people He is the color of us, man. He's your color, man. Hey, it's a beautiful Spirit. thing. I, yeah. That everything is gonna be fine, but it has to play out. Yes. See, Jake don't want Jake is trouble to come. They don't want the bad. Well, you got to get your ass for it, man. You've been out partying all night. When you get back, hey, dad going to have a belt for you, man. You just got to deal with it, man. You don't have to get on. You get on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
the, the whole world thinks we just nothing through monkeys, everything. But then when they see these same people that is regarded as nothing be taken up into the heavens in a miraculous fashion, right? into a chariot with the world is ignorantly called a UFO, a spaceship, the fathership, they don't be like, damn, wish we could go out like that. Because at the very same time, what's going to be happening? It's going to be the height of confusion. It's going to be the height of war, death, destruction. That's going to be the last thing anybody's thinking about. Right. And then they're going to see the skies filled with UFOs. And then the people that they regarded as nothing, taking up, changing, and tweaking up an eye. Man, it's going to be something glorious. Yeah. It says, and I will bring them again into their land Ooh. that I gave into their father. Hey, I, was it a Balfour's declaration that got them in there? No, it said the Lord himself was going to bring his people back into the land. But not all. His people, the elect of his people, gonna get into the land. And over time, the Lord is gonna make one become a thousand. He's gonna bring back the two thirds, man, that die on this side. And his praise the Lord. The Lord loves his people at the end of the day. He told Ezra that. You know, you telling me that you're gonna love my creature more than I do. The Lord knows what he's doing. <clears throat> you know, be a father. You know, you with your child, that like, hold on, there ain't nobody gonna get in the way. I'm gonna body slam, choke slam, whatever. I don't do what I want, but I love him. Okay? That's it. <laughs> This is Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob Woo. and will yet choose Israel. That's it. Old cat, close the book. You got to close the book, brother. Because the Lord is going to yet choose Israel, man. That word yet means again. That's his choice. <laughs> right? Because they, they got the voice, uh, the people's choice, and all these choices. Well, it's the Lord's choice. That's right. He wants to choose his yeah. people's choice. Yeah. And set them in their own land. He's going to set us in our own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. That's the Israelite foreigner. Because they were strangers to the commonwealth of Israel. It tells you that Paul was the apostle of the Gentiles. But to our people that were in a Gentile state of mind, they didn't know that they had these great promises given to them. Like, hold up, you got the best land on the earth. Hold up, you got these promises of never dying. You got the promises of being one with your power. All types of things that have never been seen is promised to our people, whether they get it or whether they don't. It's promised to them anyway. And that's what the whole world is mad about. Like, how the fuck these people did all this and they still, that's the Lord's choice. Go ahead, huh? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Those strangers are going to cleave because their spirit is going to bear witness that they are children of the Lord. Like, that's us written in there. That, that, that's my life. Like, hold up. Oh, and that's the miracle. Huh? That's, the, that's the great works done in our day that the Lord's going to work a work that you, though somebody told it to you, you would not believe what? That our people were so through, so gone, didn't even know who we were. Now we had the name of our power, our anointed, and we know that we have great and precious promises. That's a miracle right there in itself. We should have been done, destroyed as a nation. And we still here. The Lord is still dealing with us. This is Baruch 4 and 4 through 6. Woo. And it says, O Israel, happy are ye, happy are we, Woo. for the things are pleasing to Yahweh, are made known unto us. It's made known unto us the things that are pleasing unto Yahweh by Shema Shah. Yeah, all these Christians out here, old cavalry, you know, guys, you're not doing nothing that's pleasing to the Lord. You just, even if you tried, you, you still wouldn't be pleasing in the sight yeah, because you're not sincere. <laughs> Said all, all of Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. <laughs> the Lord told you, I don't care about you, Jesus, man. He said, You like spittle, man. Like, yeah, man. 
you were you were creative, but I just did I I just didn't choose. I just not I'm not that into it. That's right. I'm the Lord of Spain. <laughs> you just wasn't chosen. Hey, the Israel and Cinderella, I the, you know, the nations are like the other sisters trying to put their foot into the slipper. It don't fit you, bro. Right? Hey. Prince is looking for the one who fits this slipper. Hey bro, at work, at my gig, I'm the only one like I like to like to do the little things, so I call myself, like, so brother, a, a co-worker of mine named Lucas said, hey, man, look at Cinderella, because I'm on my knees scraping the stickers and stuff. So I told this one chick, I said, I'm getting ready to get my, I'm, Lord willing, I get my glass filled, I'm fitting for my glass cylinder, man. Yeah. Lord willing, we are, we, this is the time that we must believe that the Lord is going to do great things for us, man. Yeah, right. I, that was beautiful you said that, because Adama, you said it last week, I, there's 144,000 slots that need to be filled. That's right. So that's, that's who we at, man. That's right. Go ahead, huh? Verse 5, it says, be of good cheer. Woo! My people. Why, why are we of good cheer? Because ah, everywhere we go, no justice, no peace. Jake crying through, bugged out. Went to go get the juicy juice. Nothing happened through. Just done. No job. <laughs> ugly. Just damn. So it said, be of good cheer. Why? Because the gospel means what? Good, good news. news. To who? Yeah. To the people that's fucked up, man. Hey, the uh, bad news for the world, like the things the brother mentioned, is good news for us. That's right. Right. But why you want Babylon to be destroyed? It ought to be destroyed. That's right. Because whatever the Lord wants, we're trying to get to the point where we with the Lord, man. And we got to, like Apostle McCall said, get your mind right, man. Right. Get your mind right to understand what time you're living in. And we are in, a, we are in, a, we are in some serious, serious times, bro. Yeah. Right. So we're in a time where the Lord can come back at any time, bro. This is the last, the Lord is about to do some great things for us, man. Hey, this place is so bugged out. You got all these wars going on. But now they coming out with a, a metaverse sex uh, room, whatever. Yeah, yeah, you got shit. Sex shit bugged out, bro. Hey, I is bugged out. Oh, hey, it said that. that shit. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Yep, yep. <laughs> hey, 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 this is orgasm VV tomorrow. Bro, this is this is uh this is uh this is flood like behavior. I, uh. and didn't it say that the mind of man was evil only continually? Like, it is, like what the fuck type of, of shit is that? Hey, roughly paraphrasing that scripture, it's like I forget where it's at, but uh, the Most High made man to be upright, but they sought out many, many, many inventions. Yeah. Devices at this place. Go ahead. Huh? Verse 5 again. Just be of good cheer, my Ooh. people. Oh, my people. It say, oh, world. It said, woe unto the world in another place. But it said, be of good cheer, oh, my people. Go ahead. Huh? The memorial of Israel. Woo! The memorial of Israel. Now, what's that? Zion. That means memorial. To Zion one in the Hebrew. And if you a scholar, the scholarship up. Yeah. To Zion one in the Hebrew means monument, memorial. Go ahead, right? It says verse 6. You were not sold to the nations, not for your destruction. So we weren't sold to the nations to be completely destroyed. That's what the heathen thought. Ah, we got them now. We're going to completely destroy them. No, wrong. We were only given unto you for a punch. For a ass -wolf. But not to be destroyed. But because you moved the hour to wrath. That's why we were taken down. That's why we, we failed. Because we went against our God, our power. Verse continuing on. You were delivered unto your enemies. We were delivered unto what our friends are. Right. What is uh, your lovers? Enemies. Enemies we were delivered into. And deadly enemies at that. Go ahead, huh? Preset. This is uh, 2 Ezra 6. In verse 59, and then Lord's will, I could read uh, verse uh, read. chapter 7 too. <laughs> Second Ezra 6 and 59. It says, If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Woo! The Lord had to play it out. The Lord was balanced. The Lord was fair. Now we got to go back to what Daniel mentioned in Nebuchadnezzar's dream. These nations had to reign and rule at their time. Then there was going to come a time when Israel was going to reign forever. So we have to have these things play out. Ezra was just like all our forefathers. How long was it going to happen? Even the book of Hebrews says all our forefathers died having faith but not having received the promise. Go ahead. Huh? Now uh, chapter 7, 2 Ezra chapter 7. And when I had made an end of speaking these words, there was sent unto me the angel, which had been sent unto me the nights before. And he said unto me, Up, Ezra, hear the words that I am come to tell thee. Woo! Now this is what puts you at ease, because I, I know you was in the world like, mm, oh 
Jake always wanted to be like, oh, see, 400 years in the land that's not ours. Well, wasn't our people in the land for that whole time yeah. crying and screaming? And then till the time of Moses, that's when our people was delivered out. And even when we went into the wilderness, our people were still murmuring, crying, talking shit. It was destroyed. That next generation made it into the land. So why did all that happen? You got to ask us, well, why didn't that? Lord gave us a great deliverance. But then, you know, Jake talking in mess like you. Your mind is not the Lord's mind. His thoughts are not your thoughts. But you would think after being delivered from bondage, right. seeing all the miracles, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, leaving with great substance, mm -hmm. that, that our people would be appreciative of, the, of their power. But like the brother said, man, they still talk shit. Yeah, you know? this, is, this is a new wilderness. Our people in the wilderness now just wander around through, and you have the elect as that next generation, like we gotta get the fuck out of here. We ready to get into that land. <laughs> Fuck everything. We don't give a damn. If nothing, man. We got to get in there. The and Lord said it. We believe. And we're at the point now to where uh, judgment against an evil work is being fucking delayed Execute. and lagged out. So you fucking people are out here committing all manner of wickedness and offenses against the men of the Lord. And you're, you're getting lagged out from your judgment. So you're just fucking hotty in that shit. Yep. Hey, but that's about to change quick. Because right. now it's being switched up. We in the time of judgment now. That's right, right. The most high is about to start striking niggas down left and right. The Lord is turning up. Lord up. Verse 3, it says, And I said, Speak on my power. Then said he unto me, The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. Mm. But put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Representing the kingdom, the, the great sea. Now you go into Revelation, it talks about the seas, many nations, tongues, peoples. Now the Lord, what did the Lord say? He that endureth shall, shall be a, 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 receive a crown and shall rule over the nation. Verse 4, it says, Salaki, verse 5, who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? So you got to go through that narrow path, a way of difficulty to get to this broad place. And that's the times we're entering into. Now, having a baby is a beautiful thing. But what does the woman have to go through before the baby comes? Hey, Pain. Pain. Yep. Thing. And Salaki, I read it wrong. It says, if he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? If you don't go through the narrow and the bad, how can you get to the, to the broad? If you don't go through the train, how are you going to become a champion? That's right. If you don't go through the fucking tearing your muscles and shit to get, to get you know, crawl it, yeah. then how the hell are you going to get broad? You got to go through it, man. That's what's free. Yeah. Back. Go ahead. Uh, Acts chapter 14 verse 22 Woo! and it reads confirming the souls of the disciples confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith continue in the faith it's the only thing that's going to count for anything when there ain't no food no water no lights no nothing you know what, what are you going to have what are the brothers going to have faith the just shall live by faith that's what that's what's going to get us it said that we kept the Passover through faith. He yeah. said we cross through the sea through faith. Yeah. Man. Faith, is, a, faith is more valuable than fucking food. Right? <laughs> yeah. right? Because faith can have you sustained for days without food when otherwise a motherfucker would die. Because right. like they say in the world, stress is one of the biggest killers, man. So if you're stressing out, you, yep. your mind is not there, man. Hey, I'm faith, the mind. Our faith going to have us perform miracles, man. Woo! Like the water not going to be working for everybody, but it's going to work for you because you believe. Hey, right? I, don't forget, when the plagues was hitting the Egyptians, Ms. Ryan, hard. Mm -hmm. The land where Israel was dwelling, they had lights. The cattle wasn't touched. It was good. Yep. Yep. 
Well, I could say the, yeah. the beginning of the verse that said, confirming the souls of the disciples. Mm -hmm. When you confirm something, you test it. That's how you confirm it. Okay, it's working. It's, it's good, good. good. You yep. gotta test it out. That's what the Most High is doing to us. Yep. You gotta test the right. Lord said, test a friend. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, he has a to friend, prove yeah. a friend prove first, a friend. right? Yeah. And, and what did the Lord say to the disciples before he was gonna leave? He says, ye are they that have uh, been with me in my temptations. And I, I promise unto you a kingdom at, and, and, and a seat at, at the table. And my brother can get this. Place at the table. This is, Place uh, at the table. <laughs> this is Psalms 26. I'm going to get straight to the point. And two, and examine me, O Yahweh Shemah and prove me. Woo. Try my reins and my heart. Woo. So try our mind and our intent. And that's all the wilderness was about. A trip that should have took two weeks, three weeks to get up in there, no, no problem. Forty years wandering around. Hey, that's likened it to this bed we're doing right now, man. <laughs> And Jake and Jake is like throwing the covers and shit over. Like, no, it's about that time now. What we've been talking about, what the Lord been talking about, getting into this kingdom is here. Woo. But you have to go through the danger first. Right. Yeah. But the Lord said that the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Do you have to believe that? Confirming the souls of the disciples, which are students, followers of the Lord, Ak, the Mashiachim, which you get the word Christian from, the real Followers of the Messiah. We're going to have to go through these troubled days. I got something. Hold that. And what did the Lord say? He said, if you're going to follow me, deny yourself and bear your cross daily. And follow after me. We have to follow the Lamb with us wherever he goes. Daily. That's right. Daily. Says, in fact, we must do much tribulation. Huh? What, what did it say? Much uh, roses, daisies, good times. Party, huh? No, tribulation. The elder big guy, when he came out, he kept quoting that scripture. Yeah. And he was telling us, brothers, like, hey, you know, we already know, but he was reminding us, like, we about to lose everything. Right. Yeah. Everything you own in this whack ass world, you about to lose it. Yeah. Amen. Maybe even your family. Amen. You might lose them. That's you right. might even even lose your own life. But hey, it's all gonna be a test. The most high is gonna confirm whether you're worthy enough to receive a crown of salvation. Hey, personal, you know, personal testimony, brothers know me, I've been in an accident, me going back to work this week, I've been, you know, seeing how my, my arm is going to work, and just having that mindset, oh, I got to test, see what, that's, that gets you a long way, you know what I'm saying, just having that mindset, just, oh, man, I got to see how, what, what I'm made of, you know, through the spirit, so, that's what it's about. And that, we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. We got to get into this kingdom, I but before the age of Solomon, what came before? The age of war. war yep. The constant, like fucking Philistines coming up on the northern down. border and all. We had to go out there and fight. So we're fighting now. See, Jake think they just going to fly up in there. No, you went against your power. And he has delivered you unto the enemy. And now the enemy is at a great power, fucking ruling the world with much wicked oppression. But who has to come stop this man? Yahweh Shai must come. Stop him. He's right. at the point of fucking all power, fucking Darth Sidious and shit, the, uh, the unlimited power. Somebody has to stop this guy. Someone greater than him has to stop him, man. We can't do it. Yeah, how would I come in? That's right. it. We need right. a, we need a savior, a deliverer. Okay, if man can do it, then we've already been out of here. But man can't do it. One greater than man ain't the God of power must do it. The son of Yahweh. Back in 2 Ezra 7 and verse 6, there is also another thing. A city is built in Woo! the kingdom and set upon a broad field and it's full of all good things. Now, we tell Jacob about the kingdom and all that. And, oh, no. But yet, in order for any kingdom to come up, they have to go up against the kingdom that's standing at the, that time. Right. So hey, Alexander, they, they, you crazy? You won't go up against the Persians and shit? They got a million men on Hey, the spirit of the Lord was on like, nah, I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna 